in previous video we have seen about addition and about even or not now we will see whether the given number is a prime or not how to make it and also not only that how to get sum of prime numbers from 1 to n if n is given as something like 100 what are the prime numbers how to make it hello everyone this is Shravan Kumar Mantri technical trainer welcome to our channel CSE gurus uh, here the first question if I give 6 what is the output it has to print either yes or no uh, anyway, seven, 6 is not a prime, you have to print no. If I give 3, you have to print yes. And what if, if I give n value as uh, 10? For the second question, I am talking. Sum of prime, I mean prime numbers, which are, what are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7 only. So, the sum is 17, right? So, that is what and not only that, we will see the best method here. Of course, we can write in prime number uh, many methods but what is the best one we'll see here we'll try to write the program so now just I want to make it whatever we have done previously this is a program is even whether the given number is even or not so instead of writing everything new so just want to make the changes so that you will make it very easy you can uh, understand it very clear first thing instead of is even I want to write the function m as is prime that means whether the given number is prime if it is a prime yes you print it otherwise no so anyway what is the function name you want to write is prime whether the given number is a prime or not because again it is a question of uh, making either yes or no of course at the declaration also you have to make it is prime uh, now you can see here what is the logic for is prime that I want to write anywhere anyway for even number just want to check is it divisible by 2 but for prime number no so prime number uh, in general if prime number means you have only two factors one and itself for example if I want to take a number that is 7 how 7 can be a prime number means if I divide 7 with 1 you will get the remainder 0 7 with 2 no 7 with 3 no 7 with 4 will you get 0 no 7 with 5 what is the remainder 0 no 7 with 6 no only 7 with 7 yes so that means when you take a number if it is a prime means you will get only two times 0 any number if you take prime number any prime number so 43 is a prime number you have only two divisors one is one and itself that is 43 so that's what you need to write the logic I am converting into the logic C first I'll write the basic logic then I'll convert you can see uh, first I'll write take a counter variable to count how many factors are there I to iterate so for I starts from 1 I less than or equals to n I plus plus so just I'm checking what is that n given n is it divisible by I if it is divisible yes make it count plus plus once this for loop is completed, once this for loop is completed, checking what is C value. How many factors should be there? Only two factors. That's why C value should be 2. Then if it is a prime, which means you have to return 1. If not, you have to return 0. Else also you can write, but I told you this is optional. That means if you get two factors, uh, starting from 1 up to that number, you can get the answer. This is one of the answer. Let us see what is the output here. If I take something like 23, yes, you can see it is a prime number. What if, if I take something like 57? 57 is a prime? No, because 19 into 3, which is not a prime number. So there are factors in between, not only 1 and 57. There is a 19 is a factor, 3 is also a factor. Now, why should I take all this 1 to n? Let us suppose if I start from i less than n, that means if I take 7, I'm ignoring this part 7% L7 that means if I take 43 I want to take 1 to 42 if I take n I want to take 1 to n minus 1 how many factors only one factor so I'll write c is equals to 1 this is also correct answer and one more thing what should I write is uh, if I start from i equals to 2 that means I'm ignoring 1 I'm ignoring that number if I take 7 I'm ignore I'm taking from 2 to 6 if I take 97, I am taking from 2 to 96. So then how many factors? There are no factors should be. So that's why I'll write C equals 0. 
this is also correct answer you can see this one also so maybe 43 is it a prime yes you can see 43 is a prime number this is also correct and take an, another number which is not a prime you can see here 45 if i give you can see 45 if i give it's no it is giving result now the thing is why should i take up to n n minus 1 i'll write here i less than or equals to n by 2 is it a correct answer so what i am doing here is if i take a number 97 in not check whether 97 is a prime or not you are taking 2 to 96 in general but i am asking i am telling 2 to don't take up to 96 what is 96 by 2 48 take 2 to 48 if there is no factor from 49 up to the number definitely you won't get a factor because what is 49 into 2 very minimum factor 98 which is crossing your number so this is also correct answer that means why should i take if i take a number n why should i take up to n minus 1 i'll take up to n by 2 so why should i write like this let us suppose if i take a number uh, 1 lakh anyway we know that it's not a prime number but in order to check in general you want to go from one, 2 up to almost 1 lakh right 99,998 but why should i go for it i want to go only for what is 1 lakh by 2 50,000 that means they're reducing the complexity half so up to 1 to 50,000 if there is no factor definitely from 50,000 there is no factor because 50,000 into 2 which might cross the number 1 lakh so that is what here you can make it that is 50,001 you can take 50,001 into 2 which is crossing our number now there is a best solution anyway there is a best solution why should I take up to n by 2 you can take up to square root of n this is also correct answer which means if i want to take 97 is a prime or not why should i check up to 2 to 48 i want to check 2 to what is 97 square root see 100 square root is 10 so 97 square roots which is 9 point something of course if i take 10 of course up to 9 right 9 point something that means i'll check is there a factor for 1 to um, 2 to 9 if there is no factor definitely you won't have factors for prime number this is also correct answer this is the best answer because if you take a number 1 lakh or 10 lakhs let us take 10 lakhs uh, what is the square root of 10 lakhs i think it is 1000 right if you take a number 10 lakhs you are iterating your for loop only 1000 times which is the best solution of course this is also a correct answer even if you take like this you can see 97 is it a prime yes definitely it is not checking up till 96 it is checking up to 9 only 2 to 9 are there factors no so it's a prime number take any other number why not uh, 256 it's no right it's not a prime number what if, if i take 25 is there any mistake let us know no it's not a prime number you can see but the problem here is with only for one number it might give wrong answer uh, let us try with this number what is it one it is printing prime but is it prime no but anyway prime number starts from two that's why you always have to check prime numbers whether the given number is a prime or not starting from two anyway if you want to check with one just write a special condition that's it but most of the times when you see whether the given number is a prime or not you must check from the numbers are two if it is one that is also you can make by writing a special condition now the next question it is asking what are the prime numbers from one to n so if i give n value as a range let us suppose i'm erasing this everything uh, n value as 100 you have to start from two two is a prime yes three is a prime yes five four no five yes six no that's what whichever a prime you have to print them you can see here how to make it that means here the logic if is prime what is n value n value must be two three four five like this right so that's what i'll write here so here it is if n value is hundred now what i need to do i need to iterate anyway i'll take a variable i 
I'll iterate what is i value must be i must take starting from 2 is a 2 is a prime is a 3 is a prime that's what i less than up to n i plus plus now what is i value first I'll check is that prime is prime of i not n here n is a range now is prime of i what is i value 2 it will check that means it will take first what is i value 2 is it a prime it will take which returns definitely prime that's why it returns then what you need to do you have to print not yes you have to print that number right if it is a prime you have to print the number percent only just a space and i you print it anyway give a tab space so that it will print in a proper order slash thing uh, now if it is not a prime number simply ignore right why don't why should we write else but it's a simple if condition now if it is 2 it's a prime it will print next i value 3 is prime of 3 it goes there what is n value previous is 2 done next 3 yes it is a prime print it next i value 4 is prime of 4 no it won't print because 4 is not a prime right so like this you will you want to print the numbers everything up to n so now if i execute this one will it execute properly let us sing by giving first I'll give 100 if I give 100 you can see the prime numbers uh, 2 3 5 7 like this all the prime numbers like this up to 97 why because up to 100 only you have to check it out now our question is what is the sum of all these prime numbers that means when you have a prime number we printed the numbers not only that we want to print what is the sum that's why I'll give s equals to s plus i inside if condition because you have to take i only when it is a prime so that's what and anyway s to be initialized to 0 see high starts from 2 you have taken 2 because it's a prime 3 you can take but 4 no because it's not a prime so that's why whenever it is a prime it will add once you got all the answers print f uh, percent ld print f percent ld of course I'll write it as a separate line sum is equals to s let us see what is this answer if I give 100 you can see these are the numbers and what is the sum 1060 so like this easily you can make it now what if if I make it another like uh, maybe I'll give 500 you can see all these are prime numbers like this clearly you can see and what is the total sum 21,536 now you can see here you are getting 1 to 100 1 to 200 1 to 500 like this what if if I ask you what is the prime numbers from 201 to 400 maybe 501 to 1000 maybe 1001 to 1500 a particular range how to make it a simple straightforward that is take range that is instead of n I'll take r1 r2 which is two inputs lower and upper value I'll give here from where it has to start and where it has to end so I'm percent r1 and r2 so where I should start from r1 I should end at r2 which means if I give I, r1 is 500 r2 is 1000 now the prime numbers it will take from 500 to 1000 only let us see if I take 500 R1 and R2 is something like 900 let us take anything see these are the prime numbers and what is the sum 41,260 a particular range you can get it and also concept wise you can see I told you writing the functions which means that is reusability right so you can see each prime function you have defined only once but how many times you are executing if I give R1 is uh, 100 R2 is 500 starting from 100 up to 500 this is prime function is executing 400 times almost right so that's what if I give R1 is 1 R1 is 2 and R2 is 1 lakh that means you have written once and you are executing 1 lakh times that's what reusability that is what about uh, functions how to write it here 
we have done with the program some set of programs using functions we'll do more but before that we'll go for call by value first anyway i'll go with call by value call by reference after that these things okay we'll see call by value and call by reference followed by some more programs in the next video lecture thank you